A major safety concern for you and your family as we come on the air tonight. Recall tires could be putting you in danger and you might not even know it. The issue being blamed for a deadly crash in February. They killed two members of a Newport Ritchie church. And tonight, this crash is at the center of a major federal investigation. I-Team investigator Adam Walzer now with the revealing details you need to know. Family and staff of First Baptist Church, Newport Ritchie, is sad to report the loss of two of our dearly beloved members. The news devastated a local congregation. He always just had an affinity for the kids, and he ultimately died serving God, doing what he's always did. Two youth ministers were killed and eight others injured in February when a church van veered off I-75 near Gainesville and overturned. A month after the crash, the NTSB determined the cause of the accident was a defective tire that had been the subject of a recall four months after it was purchased and installed at this Newport Ritchie Sam's Club. The uh, van suffered a left rear tire tread separation and then went off to the right, off the road, and rolled over. In tire separation, the tread can wrap around the vehicle's axles, causing the driver to lose control. The I-Team has discovered a lawsuit filed in the Newport Ritchie case alleges the church never received a recall notice and that the tires were even serviced at that same Sam's Club months after the recall without the church being made aware. That's one of the many issues we're looking at in this case. The I-Team took undercover cameras into several Bay Area retailers and we did not find any recalled tires on local shelves. But ABC News made several undercover purchases of recalled tires at major retailers around the country. And what's troubling about tire recalls is they have the lowest rate of return for all motor vehicle products, usually in the area of 30%-ish. Tire safety advocate Sean Kane says the whole recall process needs to be overhauled to better protect the public. When you go to a tire shop today and you have your tires inspected, there is no way that shop can examine the tire at a glance and determine whether it's part of a recall. Now, the NTSB believes that faulty tires could be responsible for between four and 500 deaths a year in the U.S. And while it's hard to tell exactly which tires have been recalled, there are some tools available like this simple app I downloaded on my phone. To find out how to get one, go to abcactionnews.com. I'm investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.